Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's lesson, we're going to look at data pump. In our previous lesson, I had mentioned it briefly, but I didn't talk about it in details. So today I want to talk about data pump in details. Now your data pump is another utility that is part of your database software. And the data pump is used to move data from one database to another. This utility is so powerful that you can use it to export anything in your database. You can even export an entire database to another location. Okay. And its application is very simple and very easy to use. So in today's scenario, we're going to be moving an entire schema from one pluggable database to another pluggable database. First, before we start this lecture, I'd like to show you um, something. Let me just use the command show PDBs. So you can see that I have some pluggable databases, okay, in this container. Now, I just created these two pluggable databases, PDBDP1 and PDBDP2, okay? Now, DP stands for data pump. So I just use it to identify the pluggable database. So I created this one and this one just for this practice. And I also created an admin user for each of the pluggable databases known as PDB DP1 admin and PDB DP2 admin. And another thing I did was to create a user in each of the pluggable databases, DP1 and dp2 now on the pluggable database pdb dp1 the user dp1 actually created some objects so which means i granted the user the creatable privilege unlimited table space create view and the create session so you can do that practice before you join me to do this practice of data pump export and import okay just in case you are finding it difficult to create a pluggable database you can refer to my other videos i created quite a number of videos on how to create pluggable database okay all right so let's get into the lecture so like i said earlier the goal is to export the entire schema from pdb dp1 pluggable database to PDB DP2 pluggable database. Okay. So um, let me show my container name just to be sure. You can see I'm in the root container. So I cannot perform this operation here. Now, for us to be able to perform data pump export and import, um, the first thing you need to do is to create a logical directory. Okay. But before you create the logical directory, you need to ensure that that directory is physically created on your server because you'll be pointing the logical directory to the location of the physical directory on your server, right? So um, let me just exit the SQL plus and then I'm going to make a directory real quick, mkdiro slash u01 slash the pump okay that's short for data pump so i'm creating this directory now the directory has been created let's confirm if we quickly go here come here computer u01 now you can see that we have the directory the pump okay so the next thing we want to try to do is to create this directory logically a good reason why you are creating this directory is because a DOM file will be created and that DOM file will be saved in this directory. That is the DOM file where the export data will be saved. And this DOM file is what will be read to be able to import the data in the destination pluggable database. And then another thing you need to know is the fact that you would also need to create the same logical directory in the destination pluggable database. So by the time we want to import 
the exported data into that database, we would need the directory as well. Okay, so let's go back to our SQL plus and then I'm going to connect the admin user for PDB DP1. So for that, I'm going to run the command connect PDB DP1 underscore admin slash PDB DP1 underscore admin at PDB DP1. This is the username for the admin user. This is the password, the same thing with the username at, and then this is the pluggable database. So let me connect the user. The user is now connected. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to now create the logical directory. For that, we'll use the command create directory dp underscore dir as this is very important slash u01 slash the pump. Okay, so we are creating this directory which is logical, and then we are pointing it to the location of the physical directory, okay? You can see directory has been created already. Now, the next thing we want to do is to grant read and write permission to the user DP1. So we're using the command grant read write on directory DP underscore DI arrow to dp1 dp1 is the user that is resident in the pluggable database pdb dp1 is the owner of the schema okay so let's execute you can see grant is succeeded now the next thing we want to try to do is to export the schema and to export the schema we cannot run the data pump export utility on our sql plus so we need to exit this place. And then we need to run the command expdp. That means export dp1 slash dp1 at pdb dp1. Now this is the user, this is the password, and then the schema is dp1. So we are exporting the entire schema of this pluggable database. And then the directory is this location. And then the dump file is exdp1.dump. So all we are trying to say is export this schema from this user that is connected to this database and then use this directory and also create this dump file. So if we execute this, just wait a little and then the entire operation will start off. Okay, we can see that the export was done successfully. So if you open the location of the directory, you would see that the DOM file has been created already. So you can see that the DOM file has been created and then also a log file was created. It's called export.log. If you open this log file, it will show you the details of the entire export operation. Okay, everything that was exported and all whatnot. So at the end of the day, two tables were exported because this schema actually has just two tables. Okay, so let's close it. Now, the next thing we need to do is to connect the admin user for the pluggable database PDB DP2. That's the destination database. Okay. So for that, we'll execute the command SQL plus PDB DP2 underscore admin slash PDB DP2 underscore admin at PDB DP2. Okay, so we are connecting to the second database. Okay, now we'll need to import the schema that has been exported. But before we import the schema, we'll also need to create a logical directory. Remember, I told you that the same logical directory you created, you know, while you were connected to the first pluggable database, you have to create um, another logical directory again for the second pluggable database. So for that, we execute the statement 
create directory dp underscore di arrow as slash u01 slash the pump. Now, if you observe, I'm using the same directory that has been created. Okay, the same physical directory that has been created. That's where I'm pointing this logical directory to. For some persons, they could create a different directory, different from this one, and then move the dump file from the previous pluggable database to this one. They can use maybe SCP copy utility to copy the dump file from the source database to this other database. But I like to make things simple and straight. So I'm using the same directory so we don't go through all of the rigorous process of having to copy the dump file, okay? So let me execute this. And then it says directory has been created. Now, again, for us to run the import utility, we cannot do it on our SQL plus. So we'll have to exit the SQL plus and then we we'll execute this command import then the details of the pdb dp2 admin at pdb dp2 and then very important we use the word remap underscore schema because we are going to change the schema name from dp1 to dp2 okay so the new owner of the schema will be dp2 and then the directory is the same directory we created then the dom file is the dump file that was created earlier when we exported the schema okay so let me execute this real quick okay we can see that the import is complete again if we go to the location of the directory you can see that a log file has been created and that's the import log file so if you open it with a text editor you will see that the two tables that were in the DP1 schema have all been imported to DP2 schema in the second pluggable database, right? Okay, so for us to confirm, let's connect the, the user DP2, okay? Connect DP2 slash DP2 at PDB dp2 user is connected then let's run this command select table underscore name from user underscore tables now you can see that we have the two tables we just imported okay let's select all from dp test you can see that we have two records okay and then if we again select all from dp test 2 we have one record so we've successfully imported the schema from pdb dp1 to pdb dp2 guys this is how to use the data pump utility like i said you can export an entire database okay there are a lot of options that are available when you want to use the oracle data pump so thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was interesting to you if it was please like it and share it widely and then if you have a comment drop it in the comment section and most importantly don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.